Hey, it's Jabbo. So about 16 years ago, I posted my first ever video to YouTube. My channel then was called J Olson 37. Now it's Jabbo 37. But anyway, that video was posted and another video was posted. And then I think I posted a third one uh, later, about a year later. And I, I didn't know what I was going to do with YouTube. I thought it was going to be a sharing site. <laughs> but anyway, when the offer to monetize came from Google, I was first thought it was a scam, and then I realized it was a thing, and then I realized, oh, I can make money uh, doing videos, and then I did a lot of experimentation with videos, <laughs> and I, I'm still not good at this, even though I got eight channels, but one of the things is I, I, I would do videos on things I liked and talk about them. So it was, whether it be Lego or trains or roller coasters or slot cars or other toys and comic books and just all kinds of things I would do videos. Of. And some of them would do really, really well. So well that if I bought something, the video paid for it. Now, I'm not talking like tons of money on some of this stuff, but um, it made it worth buying something <laughs> if I wanted it to make sure I did a video on it to kind of recoup either some or all of the costs. Well, I also experimented with things um, like this train. I got to find the original video. I think I picked this up at a um, one of those like discount stores like Bargain Hunt. This is a horrible, horrible train. So what we're going to be talking about in this video is some things I've bought and I kind of regret it now, and I don't know what to do with some of this stuff. I do know what I'm going to do with one of these items, but it's basically, some of this is just garbage, basically, and I don't think this train, uh, train cartoon, <laughs> I don't think it's safe for children. I just, and it's just, it's, it's a cheap, kind of a Duplo knockoff thing, and... Yeah, and I, and I don't think my video made my money back. <laughs> so that was a waste of money. Now I did have, some of these are going to be things that, that I was actually sponsored to do. A couple of them, they just sent me the items. And some of them, the, uh, a couple of these, they actually, one of these, I think they paid me. Um, now I have done sponsorships like with... Uh, a pants company that I didn't really make much off of that and I probably undercharged for it uh, I've gotten free product from Mattel I've done a sponsorship with train world I've you know I've done stuff a few things with things that I actually like and that's the challenge is like if you make YouTube videos you probably get dozens if not hundreds if not thousands of emails from these cheap toy companies or product companies uh, that want you to review their product. And um, one of them was this, uh, and I don't necessarily think this is a bad product, it's just definitely not for me. So I like roller coasters, and I got this wooden uh, lift coaster, they call oh man, I'm just losing parts to it. And this is how far I got, and then I couldn't understand how you were to apply the wax. They didn't really explain it, and I had no joy in building it, but they sent me that. I did an unboxing video of it, and I have no desire to finish it. And I think the same company sent me this, so I did unbox it, show it, explain it, and uh, yeah, you can see I've never built it. Um, and I don't, this looks kind of like that, um, Mega, Mega Blocks made a, a locomotive back in the day, and it kind of looks like this, but I don't know who this is for. <laughs> I don't, I, I, so I, I, I kind of wish I just hadn't have taken it. So just because a company offers you a product for free, it's like they would have been better off paying me because if they had paid me, then I would have built it. <laughs> I still might not have liked it. And so that, I don't think that people understand that. Just because a company pays you, uh, that, that shouldn't mean that you automatically give them a positive review. I just, I had no incentive really to build it. I 
yeah. But if I had a contract and they say you will get paid five hundred dollars if you do a review on this, but it's I I didn't get paid, so I wasn't gonna. I mean, I spent hours on that other one, and I'm like, my time is worth more than what it was gonna take me to build that piece of junk. <laughs> so, um, but this may be something. These puzzles may be something that people actually like. So I don't. Of course, I've already partially assembled that lift coaster, so it's gonna make it hard to to give somebody. But this one, you know, this is basically unused. So I can probably do something with this. Um, and again, I, I appreciate them offering it to me, but I just it's just not for me. And I should have said no. I should have said no. Or should have said I should have said five hundred dollars, I'll build it and do a video. All right, other ones that they that got sent that I wasn't paid was this one. And this one was a nightmare. Not only was it a crappy piece of garbage. Bad parts, broken parts, mismolded parts, impossible to follow instructions. Uh, I got tired of the constant emails. Why, why is your video not done? I ain't got time to do it. And you ain't paying me. So all you did is send me this piece of crap. I tried to build it. Uh, what I built fell apart. I got the tender kind of mostly built, but then the wheels just the wheels fell off, literally and figuratively. And so I'm going to send this to Drew, one of my longtime uh, viewers, Brickzar. But I drew, I don't know where the instructions are. They were on a thumb drive, I think. And I don't, I want to see if I can find that thumb drive. I don't even remember what it looks like. But this, yeah, this, uh, Dunkster Bricks has done a video on this. And there's some other uh, voiceless people that have done videos on it and i think they modified it because I, I, as this thing came you can't you can't it's 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 probably missing pieces i never got that far along but i was so excited because it was a big boy but yeah the instructions hard to follow the pieces are bad and i will never do this again i don't even think you could pay me i guess say we'll give you a thousand thousand dollars to build this I don't know if it had been worth my time for at a thousand dollars to do this. So this this yeah, this is probably my biggest regret. And um, yeah, been just dealing with the constant emails from those people. Uh, this one was another one that was I was given the set but not paid. Again, I probably should have got paid. Now this one actually was kind of funny, and I did get it to work. Where's the rest of it? This in here. So this one I did get to work, uh, but again, it's it's uh, it's really bad. <laughs> it's and it's it's yeah, it falls apart. Um, the wheels fall off of the carriage. Uh, it had decent instructions, although they came damaged. And again, this is a thing that they sent it to me. They were a little nicer about it, and they let me pick which product. But all this do is all this did was tell me I don't ever want to get anything from Mold King ever again. Um, so that was bad. Now another thing I've done over the years is I've this I picked up at Tuesday morning, and I thought about this for a long time, and I paid way 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 too much for this, um, and I never did a video on it because now I don't really feel like even building it, but. Uh, I bought this for the English and some of these other products like even this the train that I mentioned at the beginning I bought for the English a handsome appearance. I think I even put some of uh, The words I wrote on the box somewhere. I don't know uh, It might have been on O's on that one, but But yeah, so yeah, they have funny translations into English like this one was transport the cold but this the coal not the cold the coal uh, but this brick tech yeah this is I haven't even opened it and yeah so definitely get my money's worth uh, from that one because now I just don't I don't know what I was thinking should we got it uh, now other things that I thought you know would be funny this is the handsome appearance one it says it literally says it on the side of the car there um, 
bullet train, handsome appearance. So this was kind of like a roller coaster train. Uh, there, I've seen other tracks, and I didn't find it for the purposes of this video, but that's another thing I bought was some wall tracks things. Um, i got to find the video on this. Uh, this is horrible. Probably can't sell it. And then I got this is a Thomas and Friends knockoff. Um, oh, wait, let's put that over there. It's a dinosaur train, and... I gotta, I'll got try to put links to some of these on here. This is a, a copy of Thomas and Friends Trackmaster track, the original Trackmaster track. Uh, I have some dinosaurs in here, but these were picked up in a dinosaur bag at like um, Bargain Hunt or something. And I may have bought this train at Bargain Hunt, but it was a dinosaur train with no dinosaurs. Like, you, you, you are going to have dinosaurs in your dinosaur train. Uh, oh, man, the batteries are still in this thing. Oh, well. But see, it's a Thomas knockoff. <laughs> no face. But, um, yeah, it's just... Uh, and it, ha it played music when it did run. How do you turn this thing on? I've already forgot. Wow. The battery came out. Let's see if I... I, don't, I forgot how to, to operate it. Okay, there's that. Where's the on-off switch? Huh. Oh, there it is. Yeah. It's not moving. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was a mistake, and I don't think I got my money back. Oh, look, we even got a fake Cranky the Crane in it. Uh, so that was a mistake. Uh, this one, what is this? This is this type of track. And it's another, just a knockoff train. That's It's like a wooden train, but it's just, I don't even know what it's supposed to be. Did I even make a video on this? Feels like some kind of construction train. Tracks not compatible with anything else. Um, yeah, I bought that. Now this is one I got paid for. <laughs> Probably not a a enough, but this is not a train. This is this. Um, again, these companies. You, when you get the emails, there'll be like missing vowels and stuff. This is S G I L E. S G I L E. Uh, Defenders with a big S robot. It's this remote control robot. Uh, it's got this crazy thing here. I did a video on it and I got paid like $80 to do this review on Trains Are Fun. Now think about it. My channel is Trains Are Fun. <laughs> they wanted me to review this on that channel. It was one of, the, at the time, it was one of the worst performing videos on my channel. And they were upset about it. I was like, first of all, you made me make it unlisted for like a week before I could post it, which I think actually hurt the reach of the video. And then when I published it, it's not a train. It's a review. And I tried to play with it or something. I can't remember what I did, but it's like... It, it just didn't fit with the channel. And, of course, it's not going to be as viewed as a Thomas video. <laughs> so the, they were upset not that the video didn't get that many views. And I'm like, oh, I just want to take this thing. <laughs> yeah, it's garbage. It's garbage. So that's some of the things. Um, and it, I mean, just look at all the space. All this is taken up in my basement. It could be used for something else. Right? It's just so much junk. And I don't want it. So I'm not... Uh oh where did that go to? I came off of one of them. Who cares? Um, 
So I need this container back. This had the Mold King thing on it. So I'm going. To, Drew's going to get the uh, Union Pacific Big Boy, and the rest of this uh, may go in the garbage. What do you think? So uh, just because somebody offers you a product for free doesn't mean you should review it. In fact, you should probably ask for something. Uh, you know, depending on what your availability, your time is. And, and again, you need to make it clear that just because they pay you doesn't mean your video will only be positive. As long as you're allowed to be paid and you can give a fair review. But even when people get stuff for free, the tendency is to be overly positive. I, it irritates me. <laughs> and I hope I've never done that. I, I, I have bought the overwhelming vast majority of everything you see in here. And some of the things that I was paid for <laughs> to do, which is very, 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 very few. And is and all of them is very low amount. Um, it's it wasn't worth it. And yeah, so I think if I ever do a paid promotion, now I've done some that were again where they just sent me the product because it's something I wanted, and I will put, I'll try to remember always mark them as paid promotion, which is what you're supposed to do. But um, I think I need four figures minimum, like a thousand dollars. Before I waste my time uh, with stuff like this. And I think, yeah, the, the simplest thing with all this stuff is just to go throw it away. It's not worth listing it on eBay. There's nothing on here. No, I don't think, there, no. I don't even think the rocker thing is worth selling. Um, nothing. Oh, I did list the s -Gile robot. I put it for 99 cents on eBay. But because it was so expensive to ship, nobody bought it. So it's definitely, I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, if you, uh, yeah, I was going to say, if you want something, ask me, but I don't want to deal with that either. So I'll probably, outside of the Mold King thing and the big boy who's, um, yeah, most of this, yeah. Yeah, don't, don't take garbage for free. <laughs>